for those of you who are taking class with me this semester, we're going to be using uh, Microsoft Teams. If you go to your Office 365, all of you have a student account. You sign in with your username and password, you'll have access to uh, the apps that are shown here. But we're going to be looking today at Teams and OneNote, okay, both of which you can access again with your student, uh, student account. And here we're looking at what it looks like in the browser. Okay, so I'm going to take you through what this looks like both in the browser and using the app, which is right here. Essentially, it's the same. We'll also look at what it looks like on a cell phone, which is probably how you'll be accessing uh, the course content uh, for the most part throughout the semester using your cell phone. So here you'll notice that on the left-hand side of your screen at the very top, you have activities. Uh, this is basically just an activity tab. So any type of um, activities that are going on, posts, uploading content, uh, you can look through this feed and kind of see uh, what was posted and what time it was posted and the date. You have here chat feature. And this chat feature is good if you want to contact either me or any of your classmates one-on-one. -on -one. And this will be uh, private messages here that you can access. And um, you can, again, obviously send me personal and private messages via the chat feature. This is probably the easiest way to do that. Now under Teams, uh, in my case, I have several teams. I actually set up a separate team per class. Um, in your case, you may or may not have uh, more than just the class that uh, you're taking with me, depending on if you have other teachers that are using this platform. But when you go into Microsoft Teams as a student, you're going to automatically see the, uh, this information here under Teams, okay? And underneath the title of the class, in this case, Writing Workshop, you're going to have channels. Let's compare this to another class that I am teaching this semester, Grammar and Context, where there are several different channels available. Basically, the difference here with channels is that if you look over here towards the center of your screen along the top, you'll have separate tabs called Conversations, Files, etc. And as you scroll down to uh, a different channel, you'll see conversations, files, et cetera, but the, it's different information. So for example, conversations are going to be grouped by channel. And so here in this case, you'll notice that some of the channels, uh, there are no conversations, like here in this case. Uh, other channels will have conversations, but they're going to be specific to the channel. Um, files, it looks like they're also going to be specific to the channel. Yeah. Uh, that's also something important to note. So basically this information, these tabs along the top of your screen are going to be very specific to the channels here. All right, so we have Teams. We also have assignments, all right? So you can easily go through and check your assignments, okay? And uh, a calendar. Now, one other thing I'd like to draw your attention to, actually two more things. I'm going to go back to our Teams tab or space, and then I'm going to go to the General tab. You'll notice under Class Notebook, you'll have a OneNote. And so a lot of the course content will be organized in OneNote, typically by week or by unit. So right now it's a little slow to open, but eventually this should open up a OneNote or a link to a OneNote document which should allow you to access course content directly uh, in your browser. So we'll wait here a minute to see if that works. Here is an assignment tab. This is similar to what I, what I showed over here. And in this case, we also have what's called a channel. This is a video, basically a video playlist where you can access a lot of course content uh, via different videos that were created for for this particular class specifically, or perhaps they're just videos that are relevant to uh, what we're talking about in class. So this uh, this tab up here, you'll be able to access this information. Let's see if I can go back to the class notebook here. 
it doesn't open we'll look at it here there we go all right so here we have a class notebook and if you click the down arrow this will give you additional information most of the class notebooks that uh, that are created for our purposes are going to be very similar to what it, what it appears here you'll have a quick note section you'll have a collaboration space which is basically a space where all of us can add and collaborate we can edit the 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 content so here if i click this down arrow then we'll be able to look at sections within each section there's a page and these pages are collaborative so we all should be able to edit uh, this information we have content library now the content library is going to be very specific to what i upload and share with you you'll be able to view it but you won't be able to edit it all right so again there are different sections depending on the course will determine how this the sections are created and then each section will have different pages and you can access and view all this information then from there you'll have a we'll have a list of individual learners so all of you should appear here this is your own personal space and so this is where you can uh, add content and information and i can view it uh, and uh, we can interact uh, that way through your own personal space okay so basically this is a class notebook and again most class notebooks are going to be structured very similar to sections that appear here uh, it's going to be very similar regardless of the course that you're taking with me the, th the other thing i want to talk about here so i talked about we got assignments and then english grammar this is the video channel that's going to be very specific to our class now the uh the app for the for microsoft teams is very similar so notice here it's essentially the same thing i'm in my browser now if i minimize and open up the app basically the same thing so if you're on a desktop computer uh, you may or may not have the app installed and it's going to be just basically your choice whether or not you want to access this course content using the app itself or just uh, use your browser and it doesn't really matter it's the same information okay so if you're more used to using uh, the app then you'll have this this option all right now the the remaining part of this video i will switch now to the cell phone and uh, i'll take we'll take a look at what this same course content looks like on a cell phone i'll use an android uh, for the purposes of this video uh, iphone you should be able to access the same types of apps that we talk about and most of the things we talk about should, should be should be very similar uh, to the iphone experience okay to access microsoft Teams. Notice here that I have a few apps installed. I've got uh, Microsoft Teams installed, Microsoft OneNote, and in addition to that, two other apps that you might find useful uh, will be OneDrive and also Microsoft Word. So Microsoft Teams to access the same content that we just looked at online. You'll notice that there are similarities uh, between the two apps. Here along the bottom of your screen you'll see activity chat and teams here you should have access to the team that um, that i created for for you so it should automatically appear here if you have other teams obviously from other classes from other teachers those will also appear in this case i have a couple of classes here if i go in to one of the channels you'll see posts and files that are specific to that channel just as we looked at um, in the online version and the desktop version here's another class another tab again specific posts and files that are associated with that along with the class notebook now if you go into the class notebook here directly from microsoft uh, teams again this is the app that we're in and you click on here this will open up automatically the microsoft onenote app so notice here the we're in the onenote app and from here you can access again the same content that we just looked at in the desktop version okay so here we have sections we have pages within sections and so on click notebooks then we have other notebooks that uh, that you have whether you create it yourself or whether it's part of uh, a microsoft teams app so we'll go back to the app here 
and English grammar. In this particular case, I have a stream channel that is linked, which is basically a playlist of videos that uh, relate to uh, the class. Again, the same information can be accessed online uh, via your desktop computer. So basically, that's what I wanted to share with you. Uh, there's not much more here to discuss. Most of you are going to be accessing your course content via your app on your phone. Regardless if it's an Android phone or a, uh, an iPhone, it should be very similar in what you see here. And this is going to be uh, how we're going to access most of the content for the class. If you do have any questions or if you have any issues about accessing any of this information, uh, please see me, come by my office or send me an email and I'll try to assist.